Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Snob. I'm Susan, and I am wearing the same sweater from the last video. Bitch, what? Yeah, that's because I'm filming it all at the same time. But anyway, so I just have to say this. If we could just bow our heads for just a quick minute. Heavenly Father, I would like to take a moment to remember Movie Pass. It was a great service. And it's unfortunate that I had to cancel it and it's now RIP. But anyway, that's what we are about to talk about. Why I finally canceled Movie Pass. I like to root for the underdog. I'm gonna tell you I do. Movie Pass was the underdog. It was new. I don't know if it was, oh, it was a startup, obviously. Where they got me is when everybody got that email, I believe August 24th of 2018. Oh, we're doing some changes. Okay, well, what changes are you doing? They got peak pricing. What that meant was when the popular times of the movies that they think are popular or that will sell out, they upcharge the price. So let's say you're paying the $9.99 a month, okay? But a movie between 4 o'clock and 9.30 p.m., they think it's going to sell out. They're going to charge you an extra, like, two to five dollars depending on what it is to go and see it so a not only am I paying the monthly surcharge but I'm paying a fee on top of that and if you want to see a 3d movie then there's an extra fee on top of that per ticket okay no two so you know for your $7.99 or your $9.99 first of all they did away with $7.99 so whatever. It used to be I could see one movie a day every month for $9.99. Sounds too good to be true. Well, apparently it was to billing and their customer service because they're like, no, we're sorry. We're going to limit you to three movies a month. Say what? No, 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 no. And if you wanted to see more movies outside of the three, then you would have to pay another fee on top of that. So guess what? If you wanted to see a fifth movie of the month during peak pricing, you're probably going to be paying now more than the price of a regular ticket, no matter where you live. Because I know California and New York, their tickets are a lot higher. Keep that in mind. Third reason, they limit which movies you can see. And what I mean by that is not the oh, you've seen this twice, go see something else because they tried that too. What it is, is that this movie is really popular and we cannot provide money for everyone to go see these. So like, for example, The Avengers. It was too popular, everybody wanted to see it, but we can't support it because we don't have enough money to pay for everybody's ticket because they will more than likely see this. So certain movies now were excluded out of the list. You got me up, okay? You really do. So now you're telling me what I can and can't see. You want me to pay an extra fee if I want to see more than three movies. And if it's during a certain time and it's a popular movie, then I have to pay on top of that. Plus what I'm already paying you, okay? Not gonna happen. It's not, I'm just saying. I, like I said, I root for the underdog and you all were the underdog. And there are other, you know, avenues out there now. Like, I mean, AMC has been out there. There's not really an AMC near me. So that's why I really never mention them. But you guys were trying to do too much too soon. It almost wasn't too good to be true. It did work for a while until you could not financially sustain what you were doing. And unfortunately, your time ran out. Sorry. I know that they are still in business, uh, which is good. I hope that you all adjust the pricing or maybe someone can absorb you all as a company and make it, you know, something bigger and better for everyone. Um, I do know that that you have to wait nine months after you canceled, which I canceled, I believe, in August. Yeah, the end of August. So you have to wait nine months till after that to re-sign up. So hopefully by next year, you'll have your shit together. I'm just saying. That is why, I mean, I know I went hard for movie pass, but it just didn't work. So RIP. And uh, that's all I have. So thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Snob, and I will see you next time.